Approximately two days ago, we had finished up our engine build, and I'm ready to just finish up our presentation, if you would. The one thing that I do want to check again is see with see that I do have them all torqued down, and believe it or not, we had originally torqued them down to 55 pounds, and I'm moving every one of those rascals. So that one was really loose. So we'll go back through here and retorque everything. And again, once this engine's been installed in the car and went through a couple of heat cycles, warmed up, got good and hot and set overnight, I highly recommend that you come back and check all your torque settings again. Uh, if you don't, probably gonna have some, some leaks out of the thing, but I got two more here to finish up. So I've retorqued the head again. Uh, this engine is, is about ready to go into the engine. Uh, obviously the timer needs to be installed and the, the uh, uh, fan pulley, crankshaft pulley on it, starter needs to go in it, and starter bendix cover, that sort of thing. But I'd like to point out that uh, after you've got this into your car, uh, it's, it's dry, we don't have any lubrication in it at this point in time, and we wouldn't put it in until after the car, after the engine was in the car. Uh, the way that I start up a fresh engine is I would take the transmission cover back off, and the engine holds four quarts of oil. I would simply take one quart and dump it down on the transmission bands and rotate the engine over with, and just soak and get, get oil onto those drums and bands. Uh, rotate it around a little bit. I'd put a quart of oil up in the front, dump the second quart into the, the third quart into the transmission again over it, cover it all up, seal it all up. After I'm ready to start this thing, as soon as it started up, I'd put the fourth quart down through the oil filler. That gives a lot of extra oil, gets into that crankcase, into those dipper trays and we'll really splash oil around and lubricate everything up and for on an initial start that's how i do it and it seems to work out i'd like to thank you for our present for for watching our presentation and uh, we'll see you down the road